this video, I'll discuss IP address management. IP address management, or IPAM, has new features that are documented but not yet available in Server 2016 Technical Preview. IPAM provides IPv4 and IPv6 address infrastructure, administration, and monitoring. So one of the benefits of IPAM in a larger network is it allows us to discover DHCP and DNS servers, for example, by looking perhaps through Active Directory, and it adds their configuration and data information to this single management tool. IPAM is managed within the server manager interface. So this way, we don't have to connect to each DHCP or DNS server. For example, if we want to monitor a DNS zone and its health, or if we want to look through DHCP to find a couple of free IP addresses that we might want to statically assign to printers, let's say. IPAM has all of that information in one place. In Server 2016, IPAM also supports enhanced IP address management in terms of 31, 32, and 128 subnets. For example, a slash 31 subnet means there's 31 bits in the subnet mask, and that would, might be used for point-to-point -point switch connections whereby we only really need two hosts on that subnet. There are some new PowerShell commandlets related to IPAM in Server 2016. One of them is the find-IPAM-free subnet. Given an IP block, this can return subnets that are available for allocation. We might do this if we want to allocate new subnets for a new network range, maybe at a new office or a floor in a building. So we want to make sure that we don't allocate a subnet that might already be used by one of our many DHCP servers. Along the same vein of logic, we can also use the find-ipam free range commandlet to find a free range of IP addresses. And again, we might do that if we need some addresses that we must manually assign to printers or network appliances of some kind. So we want to make sure that we don't statically assign an address that might be handed out or leased to a client device. In Server 2016, IPAM has improved DNS management. One of the things that that means is that we can manage zone records in primary, secondary, as well as in stub zones. DNS DHCP and IP address management is often collectively referred to as DDI. And with DDI, we can create, edit, and delete DNS resource records, and we're not limited just to DNS A records. For example, we could manage pointer records, which are reverse lookup records in a DNS zone. DDI also allows us to manage zone forwarders for DNS. And if we're viewing an IP address in the IPAM interface in Server Manager, we have the option of looking at associated DNS resource records for convenience. In this video, we discussed IP address management.